dear learners welcome to this session which again is going to give you the importance of promoting a destination in order to encourage visitors to come and see the destination first hand so dear learners as you all know and you have seen in various other sessions the right promotional mix is the key ingredient for the success of any business including the travel industry so the promotional mix includes various forms of publicity and advertisements and also holding promotional events so the highlight of this session is going to be the promotional event one such promotional event a very outstanding event for the promotion of tourism in india was the holding of india fest by the travel corporation india limited popularly known as tci now the travel corporation of india is a private organization so here is a case which discusses how a private enterprise if it has the will can promote a destination not just for its limited gain but for the gain of the entire nation the event was organized between the 14th and the 30th of march 1993 and the event was not in india but tci took the event to europe and the entire idea was to conduct the show on the river rhine so dear learners this session takes you through the objectives of organizing the event the various levels of planning and organization that was involved in conducting a show of this scale we shall also look at the problems faced by tci because it is a private enterprise and it has to deal with various issues at different stages of the event then we also look at the packages that was offered by tci and how successful these were now this promotional model that was undertaken by tci can help the travel service providers in designing events for promoting tourism at a destination now let us look at the idea behind the entire event now travel corporation of india or tci has been in the forefront to promote tourism to india for a very long time it has promoted new ideas and destinations and it continues to do so organization of india fest was one of the outstanding ideas executed for the first time by any private organization in india itself before the second world war gina and co was one of the parent companies of tci and this parent company of tci was already doing a couple of exhibitions on rail throughout india so the exhibitions was done in the rail coaches and it was circulated to the entire subcontinent and from where domestic tourism was promoted by tci So TCI in 1985 considered the same idea the same kind of exhibition in a very different continent but this time it decided not to do the show on rails but to use a floating one so this time the idea was to hold the event in europe now from 1985 to 1991 6 years of meticulous planning was done for the idea to take shape finally the first india fest organized by tci happened in the year 1993 after 6 years of planning the concept and purpose of holding india fest why was uh, event of this scale organized at uh, altogether different region was that tci wanted to promote and generate interest in europe towards india so the idea was to increase the inbound tourism to india especially the european market its aim was also to attract visitors to the india fest so through this particular festival which was in europe it uh, wanted to show the europeans the various tourism attractions of india the third aim was to create an interest among the visitors by organizing various entertainments in terms of offering indian cuisines to them selling indian goods and products showing audio visuals on india and to distribute free publicity material to organize informative seminars for the travel agents and tour operators airline personnel and media was another aim so the idea was to take india to europe so as to bring back europe to india so let us look at the planning of the entire event 
Now the TCI approached first of all the Department of Tourism Government of India and Air India for their cooperation and participation in the India Fest. Of course without the government support an event of this scale would not have been as successful. So the response from these two organizations was very encouraging and both became co-sponsors of the event. Later on, international partner like Lufthansa also agreed to co-sponsor the event. So this was a very positive development for the India Fest. As part of the action plan, the following approvals were obtained. The first approval was from the Reserve Bank of India and Ministry of Finance for the release of foreign exchange. So for the release of foreign exchange, it was very important to get the approvals from these agencies because finally there was a lot of currency that had to be converted from INR to Euro and Euro to INR and so on. The second was from the Indian Trade Promotion Organization in the form of a no objection certificate for organizing India Fest abroad. So this was also done by TCI. The third approval was from the Director General Shipping for allowing TCI to charter a ship to Europe. Now for the successful implementation, the following suppliers of tourism products and services were approached. So they were encouraged to participate in the show. So the leading hotels were contacted for this, the international airlines, especially the airlines which were operational around the countries where the River Rhine was flowing. So TCI also took the support of government and state tourism departments. It took the support of leading exporters of Indian handicrafts, garments and other goods for participating in the event. And the responses was excellent and by October 1992, 25 stalls were provisionally booked for participation. For various reasons, later on, only 16 stalls were put up. Now the main reason for this was that initially when TCI was having negotiations with KD Lines for two ships to be arranged for the entire event. Finally, it was altered to just one charter ship. So there was a limitation of space. So they could only procure one ship and the name of the ship was MS France. So because of the restriction of space, finally 12 stalls were organized to be incorporated in the ship and these included the Oberoi group of hotels, the Taj group of hotels, the ITDC or India Tourism Development Corporation, Delhi Tourism Development Corporation also participated. UP Hotels and Banaras House was also to put up their stall in the ship. The Cottage Industry Exposition had its own stall. Bholanath Brother Dwellers to display their jewelries. The Regal Robes for bringing in the various costumes that were required. And apart from this, Lufthansa Airlines, Air India from the airline industry. Department of Tourism, Government of India was one of the very crucial members, not only the co-sponsors, but they also had their stall in the ship and one stall was reserved for TCI. The entire event posed two major concerns. First of all, the custom formalities because it was involving a ship that had to move in waterways. So custom formalities was an issue because lots of items were brought in from India to Europe and it would be moving through Netherlands. The ship would be moving through Germany. The ship would be moving through France, Switzerland. So there were a lot of formalities that had to be handled. And of course, another major concern was because of the number of Indians involved. Indian food had to be served on the ship because the ship was constantly on the move. And the ships did not have the kitchen which was equipped to serve Indian food or they did not have people or chefs who could produce Indian food. Neither were Indian items, the Indian masalas available. So TCI collaborated with Hotel Management Mumbai and Master Chefs, two chefs were taken on board and they were responsible. They converted the kitchen slightly and they started producing exotic Indian dishes. So this is how the dish problem was solved. Now TCI also conducted a survey. The survey was a very, very important part. This was again done prior to the commencement of the event. Now let us look at why this survey was important. So prior to the launch of the event, a survey was conducted to test and gauge the beforehand preparations. Now the survey included the dates and itinerary that was to be followed. So it had to check up through the question is whether the dates that TCI had decided for the show was suitable for the European participants. 
Of course, the duration of the cruise. What should be the length of the cruise travel and how exactly it should be conducted was also an important issue because Europeans had to participate. They had to come on board and spend that much time on board. Now, timings for the exhibitions, so that was to be open for public and for trade was also very important because the ship would be anchoring at different places, so the exhibitions were open for public, so deciding on the time for the public display was important. Details of the seminars, so seminars was an integral part which was conducted on board, was another issue that had to be dealt with so that it could be incorporated into the main itinerary. Then the types of literature that had to be printed was another issue because the language was just not limited to Hindi and English, so this was also done in the survey. The survey also had a window showcase the tours that would be offered, so it was a kind of tester for that. The cooperation that could be expected from the various tourist board was Air India and other international airlines was also a part of the survey. Charging of entrance fees, the rates to be fixed for entertainments, meals and other such relevant details connected with the India Fest was very crucial to understand and know. The responses to these queries were very encouraging, but after the general survey, there were certain points that required further considerations. So first of all, the main concern was the dates. The dates proposed for the exhibitions were not suitable since it would still be very cold in Europe. So during March, adverse weather conditions could possibly affect the India Fest arrangements and as well as the attendance of the Europeans. So it was recommended that the exhibition should be held sometime during summer months, so probably between May to September. So another major problem was regarding the timeline was that if the program shifted to summer, KD Lines, which was responsible for giving the ship, was very busy during the summer. It was the peak season for them. Due to this, the ships plying on the scheduled routes, they were unable to help for TCI with the ships during the summer month. So this was a huge challenge, how to counter the cold of March and to decide whether to shift the event during summers. So there was a kind of a balance had to be achieved in this. So another important factor that KD Lines put in front of TCI was that the ships could be offered during summers, but it would cost double the amount. So TCI had to decide whether it was willing to pay double the amount or whether it would go ahead with the amount that it had to pay in March. And it had to balance between understanding the intricacies of the costs involved. It was also felt that immediately after ITB in Berlin, there would be many travel agents, operators, and travel writers who would not be interested in the fest because they had already been through a festival. So a lot of contemplation was done and after discussing the pros and cons for operating between March and taking everything into consideration, India Fest was finally planned for operation between 14 to 30th March 1993. So a private organization was holding this huge show, so a lot of publicity and promotion had to be done. So let us look at what the structure was. A lot of promotions were required, which was to be done in Europe. So a Frankfurt public relations firm called RJ Marketing Services was appointed to carry out publicity and promotions prior to the event, during the event, and also post the India Fest period. They also arranged for translating the various press releases in different languages, including French, German, and English, for publicity in various countries of Europe. Arrangements were also made for TV shows, radio interviews, press releases, distribution of leaflets, as well as meetings with the tourism directors and Air India. They normally organize seminars in their respective countries where they operate. Now, the entire idea of India Fest was to promote India as a destination. Since India Fest was basically designed to promote tourism to India, it was decided that the seminars should be held on board MS France, where the delegates from Europe would be invited to participate and they would be given view about India. So this would give an opportunity to hard sell India and it would also give an opportunity to the Europeans to taste 
Indian gourmet meals and look at the other entertainments. For example, there was a dance, there was music, Indian music, and a fashion show which was organized just so that more colorful glimpse of India could be portrayed to the Europeans. It was planned that at the most, the functions, there would be 50 to 60 invitees. So in these 50 to 60 invitees, there would be around 500 to 600 individuals who would come on board. So these individuals were identified as those that would be interested in uh, travel and tourism at the places that would be portrayed during the seminars. TCI also invested funds in making publicity items ready. India Fest aggressively was marketed in Europe through these publicity items. It was at the same time also marketed in India. So besides the various publicity press releases, colorful posters, flyers, invitation cards, and other publicity material were also printed. Interesting press releases were frequently sent to the travel trade and media in Europe. TCI also promoted colorful literature on tourist attractions in India. And it also displayed various tour programs to India. Now at this time, certain key people were also invited for FEM tours. Another interesting part was during the seminars, there were small competitions that were organized and anybody who won the competition would be given a ticket back and forth between India. So it was very interesting publicity stunt that was used by TCI. Special video films were also prepared for the occasion and these were displayed by TCI. Now, the following promotional material was prepared by TCI. There were 5,000 copies of India Fest posters, 5,000 copies of introductory brochures on India Fest were printed, multilingual TCI brochures amounted to 15,000 copies, India Youth Tour brochures were also printed and 15,000 copies of them were made. India with TCI also highlighted the special interest sector. So there were special interest tourists programs that were produced by TCI and 15,000 copies of these were made. Two video films, each produced in English, French, German and Spanish were also released and 320 copies of the same were made for distribution. So the total investment, this was in the year 1993, the total cost that TCI incurred on printing and producing the above material was around rupees 14 lakhs. Now, what entertainment did TCI organize to enliven the entire show? So TCI also organized entertainments on board the ship. And for this purpose, it hired the services of the following individuals and groups from India. Now, classical and folk dancers were invited. They were given, of course, free tickets to come here because they were the participants of the show. The Indian musicians were invited. Fashion show units were brought in. And the most interesting and the most popular thing that TCI did was to bring an astrologer or palmist. He was the most famous personality on board. Every European would go to him to find out about their future and about what was there in store for them in the coming years. And of course, there was a yoga demonstrator who gave little sessions on yoga. A magician was hired from India and of course, photographers were also a part of the team. So TCI's aim was to promote a large number of foreign tours to India as a result of the promotions that it did in Europe via India Fest. After a proper survey, it was decided that five distinct types of promotion could be successful. I mean, the Europeans would be interested in five distinct tourism programs to India and interest could be generated in them. And the five specific types of tours that were promoted are normal tours to India, special interest tours, adventure tourism in India, youth tours, and for the corporate sector, the incentive tours. Special literature and video films were produced and distributed freely during the India Fest to not only attract the visitors on board for them to come on board to MS France, but also to the invitees who attended various seminars. Now, to organize a show of this level on a foreign ground came with its own share of problems. So let us now take a look at the various problems that TCI faced. 1993 March, India saw the bomb blasts in Mumbai. So this was a huge shock because the government of India was apprehensive in co-sponsoring the event. So there were arrangements that had to be made in the last moment. 
at the same time air india went on strike so this was another challenging okay. thing so help had to be taken from lufthansa and lufthansa was kind enough to take a part of the share on its own hands now as i've already told you in the earlier session that instead of two ships only one could be possible so this itself had limited the entire show now TCI also had to arrange for additional transportation of all the people that it had hired so the indians who were a part of the various events and shows had to be given free transportation this was an additional amount that TCI had to spend of course heavy funds went into communications that was telephone calls faxing remember that this was the time when internet and emails were still not in fashion so the heavy cost that went into communication was initially not included in the budget so this had to be accounted for so despite all the challenges tci did flourish with this show and let us now look at the achievements that tci arrived at through this india fest now according to the estimates approximately 5000 visitors came on board the ms france to witness the exhibition now they also did their shopping and participated in the various entertainment activities they also got a taste of indian meals during the india fest so a whole glamorous world of what india was about was displayed to the europeans in addition tci was expected to give seminars and these seminars educated the visitors about india then there were entertainment programs in the evenings and on an average about 50 to 60 persons on each occasions were expected to participate and sometimes the guests went up to 150 in numbers so this was a huge success story because of the number of participants sometimes tci had to divide such seminars into two parts so it is estimated that in all between 900 to 1000 travel agents and tour operators and the media in europe attended the seminars enjoyed indian entertainment and had a taste of indian meals the seminars were sponsored by air india government of india tourist offices lufthansa and jeto of belgium the proceedings at the seminars were ably conducted by the tourist office the airline sponsoring the seminars and tci Each seminar lasted for around 1 to 1 and a half an hour and entertainment was also a part of the seminar after every 45 minutes to 1 hour and the rest of the time was spent on cocktails and meals so the aim of the promoters was to generate a substantial number of additional tourists to india through the india fest promotion so it was fem tour of india in europe so lots of tour operators and travel agents would now promote india as a destination amongst the european travelers it was expected that the india fest would generate between 10000 to 15000 additional tourists to india within the next couple of years so efforts for promoting a large number of tours have also started via the fem tours which were organized by tci so the expected result was in the growth in the number of bookings to india Now TCI did this very successfully and the expectation of TCI that was whenever it organized such events in the future it would get the support of the international airlines the tourism industry in India the national carriers the indian hoteliers the ministry of tourism and many other players so herein lies the success story of TCI now just to give you a brief as to what was the itinerary that was planned now as i said the entire cruise was conducted on river rhine so river rhine starts in switzerland so the journey also began in switzerland went through france went through germany and finally netherlands because rhine finally flows into north sea at rotterdam so this was the itinerary of the cruise So to sum up the success story of India Fest and the success story of TCI this session has given you an idea as to how tourism promotion can be done at a massive level through a unique idea by a private organization such events have to be planned much in advance and with very heavy responsibilities you've seen that prior to the event a lot of research survey was done it took so many years to plan the event it was not just a momentary decision to organize this event through india fest it was aimed that the foreign tourists from europe would be attracted to come to india and of course it happened too so through such events it is possible that you can attract the tourists to visit 
new destinations. So this kind of a model that was done by TCI can be adopted by other agencies from all over the world. And of course, not just at the international level, these kind of models can also be adopted in the domestic sector and through such shows like what TCI has done, the rail shows, exhibitions, the cruise shows and exhibitions, even domestic tourism can be promoted in different regions. Thank you, listeners.